problems of unit 2 there is a present work comparison so there are some conditions here conditions for present work first cash flows are no second condition inflation not considered third interest rates are known fourth comparisons are made comparisons are made prior to taxes prior to taxes comparisons comparisons do not consider consider intangible factors intangible factors constant funds are available funds are available okay these are the conditions for comparing the present work so i'll start with uh, what exactly you are what meant by that present work comparison okay let us say for example an asset you take in your i told you all those things assets liabilities everything in the accounting chapter okay you take any assets whether fixed assets or variable assets okay whatever may be right so these assets are of course need to be uh, replaced say for example i'm going to take uh, machinery let us for example machines are plants are equipments so these are the assets have got some life okay called uh, economical life okay economical life means so say for example a machines machine has got economic life of 10 years means it's going to run for 10 years without uh, any maintenance cost and all okay with minimum maintenance cost so the time may come that uh, this machine need to be replaced okay so we have to go for replacing the machine and likewise sir, we are going to have so many machines are there for example machine 1 machine 2 machine 3 etc etc so we have to have so many machines are there like we are going to have so many assets are there asset 1 asset 2 asset 3 and all the assets are there in the organization so we have to compare the assets present worth okay present worth okay whether it's going to be worth or not okay for example i told you it is a, a choosing alternatives among the available uh, available things okay so choosing among the alternatives so it's for example here you have going to have three assets 
among three, you have to choose any one asset for your organization, asset one, asset two, asset three and all. Then you are comparing all these things assets with respect to present worth. But only when, when we can compare, when all these have got a common life. Okay, common life. Okay, say for example, lifespan is only five years or ten years. So you're taking this ten years for all the three assets, A1, A2, A3, or ten years for all these machine one, machine two, machine three, you are going to compare. But sometimes, practically speaking, you can't say, for example, asset one has got five years, asset two has got five years, asset three has got eight years. Okay, something like you won't have multiple and different, different lives are there. Then comparing with the different lives. Okay, so of course, there are some methods are there here in the comparison of present. Okay, uh, comparing of present worth. Okay, so we'll take one, some problems related to comparing assets with the very uh, different lives. So here, for this comparison of assets, so there are some conditions. Okay, we have to assume there are conditions for comparing the assets and comparing the present worth. So one is, that is, the cash flows are known. Okay, I'll write to here the cash flow diagram. So for example, I'm going to write one now. Cash flow diagram. So, say for example, life indicate one, two, three, four, five, and six years. The life of the asset. And the say for example, this P indicate the investment or a deposit or a deposit. And whereas this A1, A2, a three, A five, okay, that is uh, all these things. Okay, that is so uh, A. Okay, that is so uh, maybe that uh, profit is going to be coming every year. That is at the end of the year. I'm expecting some profit of some amount uh, for even for second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year, and sixth year. And at the end of life, so you're going to get uh, some scrap value, that is a uh, resale value. Okay, called S uh, yes value. Similarly, there are going to be some sort of uh, maintenance cost there at the end of all the years. Okay, so I'm going to say this also A value. Okay, so we can say right here, sorry, I'm going to write here F value because you're going to get at the end of the uh, period. So this is typically the cash flow diagram, CFD. Okay, that is cash flow diagram okay so that indicates for example in a given span okay how the cash is going to flow so for example there may be an investment of say for example p of rupees 5 lakh may be the investment made okay because see here so we are going to show these values either so this is going to be called as in plus value minus value so I'm going to write here, okay, cash in, cash in, cash out, cash out, okay, that is uh, cash in, cash out, okay. So, say for example here, that is uh, cash in, that is uh, any money is going to come for the organization, that is, okay, plus value, any income. So, for example here, these values, A, A, these values are going to be the constant income, okay, they are going to get at the end of year. So for example, at the end of one year, they won't get some amount. At the end of second year, they won't get some amount. Third year, they won't get to fourth year, fifth year, like this. They won't get some constant amount. So this value is called as a, it is a A value. It is a, okay, plus value. Okay, this, this plus value, particular this value. For example, let us see here, I'm going to write here B value here. B value, it is a cash out because they are the money invested, the money spent for maintenance and operating cost of the machine, so for example. So at the end of one year or two, three, four, five and all, so there are going to be some amount of money so we need to be spent for maintenance and all. So that is going to be the negative value here, cash out. And this also, for example, here investment beginning, so purchase of purchasing price, initial investment or deposit amount and all called as cash out because 
the money is invested here. So at the end of say economic life six years, so they going to resell it. Okay, also got as rescale or scrap value or salvage value. It got as a future amount, F value. Okay, so all at compared at the rate of some percent called as I percent. This is the typical law. A cash flow diagram. Okay, we are showing the okay, cash flow. That is outflow, inflow. Okay, we can say it cash in, inflow, and outflow. Okay, how much money is coming out of? So this money is coming going out of this one because invest money money is going out of the system. That is for the maintenance and all. So money invested here. That's why it's cash outflow. These are the income, cash inflow. This is a resale value, cash inflow. So they are the typical uh, cash flows going to be taken place. Okay, this is a uh, cash flow diagram. So here, so in this cash flow diagram here, so we are going to assume that the cash flows are known here. So it's very well. Okay, so we assume that. So while well, comparing the parent worth, we assume that all the estimates of revenue and the cost are known. So here, I told you here, same thing here. Cash in, nothing but our. Inflows, nothing but revenues, and these are the expenses. Okay, so it is assumed that the revenues and the expenses are known in advance. So cash flows are known. That means revenues are so known and the cost are so known. These two are known. So first assumption they made during comparison of assets. Second assumption, inflation is not considered. Okay, so they do not consider the inflation. During comparison, because they are not considered the value of money. Okay, inflation means okay. Any value is going to downgrade because of the financial conditions. Maybe due to rate of change of interest are going to vary, or maybe due to international market and all. Money value is going to fluctuate. So here in the second condition, that is, inflation is not true. That second condition they made during the comparing of assets, during comparing or comparison. And the third one. Interest rates are known because it's a, for a common period of, for example, six years. So for entire period of six years, the interest rate is same. Same. You can say, for example, 15 percent, 8 percent, or 6 percent, something like that. The interest rates are already known. They can't change for an entire period. Interest rates are known. Third condition. And the fourth one, comparisons are made prior to taxes because the taxes are going to vary. So they are going to compare the assets before taxes. Prior to taxes, okay. So tax will not be considered here for comparison of assets. Fourth condition, and the fifth one, comparisons do not consider intangible factors. Okay, there are so many intangible factors are there. Okay, that is, for example, the brand name, goodwill of the company, friendliness. Okay, all these things are not considered here because normally, for any uh, profit they make, any revenue make, so so many things are going to. Uh, affect, so for example, the brand name of the company. Okay, so because of the brand name, there may be so much of uh, uh, profit may be there. Okay, compared to other companies, so brand name. So for example, uh, we talk about uh, the brands, uh, Sony, uh, Sony TV, or uh, Sony. Uh, those are the com Sony sound system and all. Compared to other, they are they are superior in fact. Okay, so they may be getting profit uh, because of the brand name, or uh, sometimes because of the goodwill. Okay, they are. Goodwill of the company or friendliness, okay, because service and uh, good service and all. So those things are the goodwill. So because they are going to get uh, a profit, sometimes they are going to lose interest, lose, lose also, so loss also. But uh, these things you can say that the comparison is done. Do not consider the intangible factors. So not taking into account these factors. And lastly, sixth one, constant funds are available. Okay, constant funds are available because. Uh, See, when you say it, when you're going to invest some, some money for buying equipment or machine and all, okay, when you're going to invest money for um, uh, maintenance costs and all, so there should be always uh, constant funds available. So one more assumption made it, uh, constant funds are available. Okay, these are the six conditions they made for comparison of assets using present worth. Okay, so we'll take one or two problems related to uh, comparison of assets. Is having uh, different lives.
one problem so understand how to compare alternatives using the present worth the following alternatives are available alternatives are available to the company plan a plan b plan c so life is given life in years 6 years 3 years 4 years of plan c first cost first cost in the in rupees Two thousand eight thousand and ten thousand annual cost annual cost in rupees of course three thousand two hundred seven thousand. And five thousand. Sorry, five hundred. Five hundred. Compare the present worth of alternatives. Compare the present worth. worth of alternatives at the rate of 7% per annum 7% per annum this is the problem given so you have to compare the alternatives so plan a has six years first cost of the piece 2000 and uh, annual expenditure Two thousand two hundred. Plan B, life for three years, and the first cost is two thousand. Sorry, eight thousand, and whereas the annual cost is seven thousand. Similarly, Plan C, life is four years, and the first cost ten thousand, and annual cost is five hundred. So just listen here. That is. All the plans have got different uh, lifespan. One is six years, one is three years, one four years. Okay. Suppose if all the plans are having same number of years, say for example, let us say I'm going to hit year six years, six years, and six years. Suppose. Okay. So all plans have got six years of span, A, B, C, and R. All the they have got same span of years. We'll do now. We'll solve this problem. How this going to be? Okay. So imagine that uh, all are going to be having six years. I'm changing the problem. We're just understanding purpose. So see now how they're going to compare the assets with the uh, equal lives and 
unequal lives. So here, if you start the same problem with the equal lives, so all are equal lives. Now I am going to take the present worth, okay, present worth of plan A, okay, PW stands for the present worth of plan A. So now we are going to, I am going to draw here how this cash flow is going to be. See here, this is a cash flow here. Say I am going to write six years span. So I am going to write here, that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 years. And the rate of interest is 7%. I is equal to 7%. This is the, uh, okay. So I am going to show that for plan A, plan A, 2000 is the first cost. Okay, that is the first cost investment of rupees 2000. So rupees 2000 is the investment. So showing the negative side, negative side. Because it's investment made already, it's 2000 rupees. And also one more thing here, that is annual cost of rupees 3200. So at the end of every year, they're going to be, they're going to be here. Okay. All. So, how much it is? Rupees 3200. This is the annual cost incurred for maintenance costs and tenant annual expenditures okay, for each year. I have just shown all are, of course, it's all are equal, supposed to be all are equal only. This is going to be, this is going to be the Okay, call line only. Okay, these are 200 rupees. Now, here we are comparing this one with the present worth. Let us say, for example, here, you are, you are here, you are comparing all the, you are bringing all the values to the present worth. Say, for example, here, rupees 2000, the value of 2000 for today is same 2000 only. So, I am going to write here, that is, I am going to write here, it is minus 2000. Why minus 2000? Because it is a cash outflow. Money has invested. It is the first cost. Nothing but the purchase price. Okay, so 2000 minus, because, because expenses, minus 3200. Okay, so we are comparing the present worth. Okay, P by A, I percent. Okay, I percent and N years. So means we are converting all these cash outflows. That is, occurred for year 1 to 6, that is an expenditure of rupees 3000 rupees. All these are occurring annually. We are converting all these to the present worth. That's why we are going to write here P by A, that is the present worth. Okay, factor, PW factor. I have told you this, huh? PW factor. So here, minus 2000, minus 2000, minus 3200, P by A, P by A, I percent, that is the I percent is seven percent interest, seven interest, and six years. So now it's going to be minus two thousand, minus three thousand two hundred. Now refer interest factors table for this value. That is for P by A seven percent and six years. Okay, use interest factors table. Interest factors table. Table. Check out this valuable or not for six years. Not get the value for P by A value for six years from interest factors table. 
anybody here turn this back? Of course, I'm getting here. I got the value only for seven years right now. Here, so I'm changing it. Just seven years. Anyway, doesn't matter for you. We are going to compare it to six years, seven years doesn't matter because only thing I'm saying lifespan only seven years, seven years. So certainly here is going to one more here comes here. That's it. That's it. Nothing else. Okay. So I'm going to take uh, seven years. Instead of six years, I've taken seven years because I have, I have the value of uh, seven years. So I'm going to write here seven instead of six. So this is P by A, 7% 7, 7 years. So the value of this factor is going to be 4.2883. Okay, so that is equals to minus 2000 minus, so multiply this value. Minus fifteen thousand seven twenty two point five six. The value got for present work of plan A. Okay. Similarly, we will do for plan B now. Plan B. Plan B, of course, this is going to be same only, same, okay, same. So now I'm going to calculate the present worth of plan B. So for plan B, the investment how much? It is 8,000. I'll write once again. I'll draw once again. So here, seven years only. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 years. And uh, the first cost is 8,000. First cost is 8,000. 8,000. And uh, the annual maintenance cost is 7,000. That is to pay 7,000 annual cost. Data print is 7%. So now you have to compare, you have to convert all the values into the present worth. So for PWB, present for plan B, it is minus 8000 minus 7000 P by A, okay, present worth you are comparing P by A, I percent, 7 percent and 7 years. So that is equal to minus 7000 minus 8000 minus 7000 multiply by same that is 4.2883 so that is equals to minus 8000 minus so multiply this 7000 4.232883 into 7000 that is 30,018. 30,018. Point. Point 1. Okay. So that is equal to minus 38,018.1. Is for PWB. Okay. You can do for C. 
in the same manner okay the same manner you can do for okay it is rupees minus 2000 rupees oh, 38018 so similarly we'll do for do for plan c c plan c minus 10,000. Minus ten thousand, minus ten thousand, minus P by A, okay, P by A. Sorry, minus five hundred, five hundred, P by A, seven percent, seven years. So that is minus ten thousand, minus five hundred into four point two eight eight three. Two eight eight three. Eight three. That is. Uh, four point two eight. Four point two eight eight three. Into five hundred. That is two thousand one forty four. So minus two thousand two forty four. Two thousand two forty four. One forty four. Why into something? Okay, minus value. So among these values, so. Okay, you are comparing the PWC. How much it is? It is minus twelve thousand one forty-four point five six. How much PWA previously? PWA, PWA. Just uh, I don't have value now. I'll do once again. PWA. It is so. Um, Three thousand two hundred. Three thousand two hundred into four point two. Four point two eight eight three. Plus two thousand. That is um fifteen thousand seven twenty two. Minus fifteen thousand seven twenty two. I into five six. Minus value. Okay. So here among this one here, PWO is worth of rupees minus fifteen thousand. So here C is minus twelve thousand. PWO is minus thirty eight thousand. So Plan B is good compared to PWO A and B because it is only minus twelve thousand compared to the P W A and P W B. Okay, so choose, choose plan C. Plan C. That's it. Okay, so if the life of the asset is same, that is comparing with the equal lives. If all lives are same, that is say for example seven years, seven years, seven years, then that's the way of solving problem or finding the present worth. Now. I'll take the problem wherein the asset life is not equal. Okay, it is unequal life. Unequal life. 
So, I'll take the original problem. It is uh, 634. 634. So, this is the Vajra problem. I just to, for understanding purpose, I have uh, changed all life into equal life, say for example, 7 years. Now, this is the actual problem wherein plan A has got the 6 years of lifespan, plan B has got the 3 years, plan C has got 4 years. So, all are unequal lives. Unequal lives. So, because each have got different lives. So, how to solve this one? Should have that one common value for comparison. So, to have a common value, we will take the LCM. LCM of all these things. That is 6, 3 and 4. So, we will take the common LCM for these three values. So, what is the LCM now? 6, 3, 4. So, LCM is equal to 12. It's a common value now. Now, we have to compare all the assets for 12 years only. 12 years only. We have to compare all the assets for 12 years. Okay. So, we will do now. We will do for one plan A. So, I am going to write here the CFD capital diagram. Okay. Say for plan A. Plan A. So here, say for example, here, 12 years, 0, 1, 2, 11, and 12. Okay, directly, I'm taking 12 years of lifespan. So first cost is rupees 2,000. So that is rupees 2,000, the first cost. Next, 3,200 per entire hour. Lives. So, I am going to write here 3200. Okay, so we remember here we have taken 12 years of common life here. Okay. Now, we are going to compare this plan A for 12 years, but the values are given for 6 years only. The first cost is 6 years. So, what we are doing here is that, so we are going to assume that, so the same value is going to repeat for remaining 6 years also. Say for example here, for example here, I am going to write here 6 years. I am going to write here uh, 6 years, 6 so, in the sixth year, sixth year, okay, this rupees 2000 is going to repeat. 2000 is going to repeat after six years. Okay, because basically, so we have to compare this aspect to only 12 years. But the, the fast cut is given for 2000 is only for six years. Means so for zero to six years, this is 2000 for first cast. But after six years of lifespan, we are going to assume that the same value is going to repeat. Whereas the cost associated with maintenance cost or the annual cost are going to remain same only. For even for 6 years or 12 years, the same value is going to continue. Okay, this won't change. Now, how are we going to calculate here? See now here, present worth for A is equal to same as the previous one, minus 2000. Okay, minus 2000. Minus 2000, 2000, P by F, F, I percent and N years and minus 3200 P by A, P by A, I percent N years. Okay. So listen here, this 2000, the value given for only 0 to 6 years only, 6 years only. But this 2000, we are going to assume after 6 years. For remaining six years of span, okay, we are going to assume here. Okay, they are going to repeat here. Okay, repeat here. That's why this is also called as a repeated, repeated project assumption method. Project assumption method. We are going to assume the values once again. Okay, repeated. We are going to repeat here. 
So what happens here? This 2,000 rupees, we're going to assume after six years, become the future value for here. Okay, that's why you written here P by F, future value. Whereas this 2,200 rupees is going to be same for entire lifespan of 12 years. So what happens here? That is here, minus 2,000, minus 2,000, that is we are going to assume after six years. So P by F, I percent, 7 percent, and six years. Because after six years, we have future value. Minus, minus 3,200, 200, P by A, okay, I percent, 7 percent, and 12 years. Remember, because this 2,200 is taken for entire 12 years, whereas previously we were taken for only 7 years. Okay. So now here, minus 2,000, minus 2,000, minus 2,000. Okay. So this you take from the interest factors table. That is a P by F, 7% 6 years. So you're going to get the value of 0 0.6604. 0 0.6604 minus 3200 and this from once again table okay these two values were taken from the table interest factors table so 3200 7.9427 7 7.9427 7 so you are going to get minus 28000 Minus 28,000, 749 rupees. 749 rupees. This is for the plan A. Plan A. So, I'll continue next class. I will tell you. Yes.